Welcome back to Fallout. Oh, nice timing, Glaub. You did it. We are partway through clearing out this, this area and um, learning about some synths or the, the institute that came to town and, uh, and wrecked up the place. So I'm trying to find out what this girl discovered. Uh, Jack. All right. So, it took me forever to figure out what you meant by Leslie's birthday. It was a good idea, but we haven't been dating that long. I had to look it up in the student records in the front office. Anyway, while I was there, I overheard that Dean Patterson has an alumni dinner. Oh, this is all back when the bomb fell. Okay. I've got you now, you snake. You think I wouldn't notice how often you visit the student credit union? I'm sure it's merely a coincidence your graduate student, Miss Matthews, is always on shift when you have to get something from your safe. You think it wouldn't reach me that you and she disappear for hours in the safe? You don't tell me what the construction was and what your research is about? I'll be going straight to the press and the police. Professor Campbell, I understand the need for secrecy, sir, but I don't think we could get more work done if you gave Leslie and I access to the research without you having to be there. That accident was weeks ago. You said yourself it was due to a bad fuse. Leslie said she saw the Dean skulking around following you yesterday, and it's going to get harder to get work done if he's tailing you all the time. Colonel Rosemont sounded pretty serious about wanting to see the research as soon as possible. Regarding Colonel Rosemont. God damn it, Stuart. You aren't worming your way out of this. This Colonel Rosemont you insist that I need clearance from is nearly as insufferable as you are. When I went to see him, he claimed your research was classified and enemy escorted from the base. You think you're so clever, but I think this is one of your old army buddies helping you pull a trick. Don't think I won't be talking to our lawyers. Thanks, Dinox. Welcome back. Mr. Campbell, first of all, you do not have permission to call me by my first name. I am the Dean here. You would do well to remember that. Second, what is this I've been hearing about you and your officers of the Army performing unauthorized construction under the administrative building while I was on vacation? This is absolutely unacceptable. You'll explain to me at once what the meaning of this is and what you are researching. Mr. Campbell. It's come to my attention you were contracted by the Army regarding your research. I'm the one running this university and I have the right to know and approve all research programs. I know your colleagues hold you in high regard, and when we brought you on last year, your contract guaranteed your tenure. Wow, the Dean of Massachusetts Bay University cannot spell guaranteed. But you don't want to make an issue of this with me. I'm leaving this afternoon on my vacation. When I get back in two weeks, I expect to be fully apprised of the research. Well, I want to be apprised of the research. Ooh, energy research. Really, Alan, you're under my terminal now? I told you my research was classified. Quit being a pathetic worm and mind your own business. Okay. Aw, oh, file corrupted. Grade vacuum term, tube circuit layouts, and in-class review from the midterm. Continue lecture from last week about sub-wavelength phenomena and plasmonic excitations. Ooh, shit, my plasmonics are excited. Discuss how these concepts may be used in the future for more optimized circuitry. Remind Curtis you should find out when Leslie's birthday is and that she wanted to meet him at the credit union at 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah, maybe with the dean to spend a little less time on vacation, a little more time, I don't know, deaning? Deaning around? Deaning it up? McCready! You look like a jackass. Yeah, this has come up a couple of times. Uh, Scratch and Sniff uh, was saying it's 200 years later uh, after a nuclear apologi uh, after a nuclear apologize after a nuclear apocalypse, um, and it seems surprising that English is still like the same. Um, yeah, I think that's more because that kind of thing is <sighs> it's difficult to. I don't understand why this. Whoa. Okay. It's 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 really difficult to to make a game that uses language that the audience doesn't really understand. Um, we get we get things like um, 
Yeah, like Mad Max. Yeah, Echo, exactly. Mad Max, where it's English, but it's modified. It's like gasoline instead of gasoline and whatever. Um, or we get things like um, Clockwork Orange, where it's all slang and jargon, right? And it's meant to be confusing, and the language is part of it. Um, also, someone pointed out that, um, that that verbal slip that I just made, the nuclear apologize, that's how Canadians wage nuclear war. We drop a huge I'm sorry on people. That's actually the name of the Canadian nuclear bomb that we invented. It's called the I'm sorry. And it still totally blows you up. But, you know, we, we feel bad about it. Okay, drummer boy. Why do you do that? Every time I come in, he comes running to the door like a puppy. Establishing Mercer safe house is a sign we're on the road to recovery. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome, Desi. I cleared out some Gen 1s for Randolph safe house. Randolph is still operational? <sighs> Finally, some good news. We thought they were another casualty of the switchboard disaster. But All right. Randolph's been yeah, dark for too long. It'll be controversial, but we have to put them under control. I like that she pronounces the whole word. We should contact them directly. That's just too risky. The controversial. So instead, we play it safe and slow. We help them out and buy time. Our only communication with Randolph is to be by mm -hmm. check in periodically with Drummer Boy. He the coordinates fuck? the dead drops for us. Thanks. Okay. Sure. Doesn't wanna. No problem. Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensor. I don't know what those are. I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Karen. <laughs> Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the big war. Who set off the first day bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientists. That sounds like... But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere. That sounds bad. I don't want that. Yeah, that's really great, Tom. I told Dez I could count on you. So my sensor, I call it, needs to be up high. Why? High. Oh, he's never going to love me. Some cameras, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? Tell me where to put Mila, then. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set me Mila Jovovich? Juicy data pour in. Hello, Mila. Aren't you a pretty girl? All right. Let's do it. And the railroad's got all these quests for us. Oh no, I gotta teleport. Teleport. That's what I want. place again. I've been here so many times and they just keep refilling it. I've blown this turret up. I, I've lost count of how many times I've destroyed it. Also, there are nukes going off. Back to the old Corvega assembly plant again forever. It's okay. I wonder where this pumpkin on my head. Maybe I can put it on McCready's head. Oh, hold on. Here, McCready, put this pumpkin on here. 
Noodle. Come here. Greedy. Whoop. Bye. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Never mind. It was weird. <laughs> Wait, why am I overloaded now? extra pound of stuff. <laughs> Defeated by a door. Yeah, how did McC McCready just, like, auto-teleported? There you are, buddy. Where have you been? Lower level. Lower level. Now I'm teleporting. See there, jerk. I feel like I might have reached the point in the game where I've just sort of like stopped looting miscellaneous crap. And like all I really care to take from enemies is like legendary equipment. Cause I, I kind of like, I can't upgrade anymore. Uh, not at least not until I reach gun nut four. So it seems pointless, I guess, to like grab random stuff. I guess I need, but these guys all have ammo that's like really shit. Oh fuck. No, oh, back outside. Alright. Gotta keep going up. Yeah, exactly. Legendary equipment or people's clothing. That's always worth taking. But not on enemies. I take I take the clothing of my friends. Friends and random strangers. If people are trying to kill me. I don't take their clothes. They don't get fun naked times. They just get dead. Alright, where do we go from here? Oh. Uh, uh. Turn the fuck around. I mean, I know I have to go outside, but... What the fuck is that machine gun? There are things happening, and I'm confused because I don't know where they are. Alright, let's go outside. But then it'll, if I go outside, it'll ask me to come back inside. Sort of confused about where I need to go, as you can tell. Oh, come on. Just 
just gonna take me back downstairs? Nope, up again, good. Okay. But it said going up. Now I'm on the lower level. Oh god. Everything's so confusing. Yeah. Alright, great. The room what could not be escaped. Let's go back outside. Aha! Aha! It's not gonna be fun, you're gonna die. See? I told you, I fucking told you. Traders never listen. I'm like, god of the wastes out here. Listen, fucker. Ooh, I missed! See? This is what happens. You see what happens, Larry? You see? Not up this tower thing. Oh, that was you shooting that dude. What do you think it was? Here we go. Okay, now we're getting up onto the like roof area. Now somebody say, oh hell yes. No. <clears throat> Remember when I was here before and it was like really difficult and I kept dying? Remember that? <laughs> Dummies. Alright. Alright, Mila, you... You ready? I'm actually gonna go, um... Home first, before I do this turn in, because... I just have too much shit in my inventory. I'm gonna go break some stuff down. <laughs> yeah, they just pretty much totally ignored me during that whole situation. Time to split up the loot? Yeah, which is to say, give it to me. Yeah, crafting has hit kind of a like dull point for me because I can only craft weapons and the weapons that I like are all crafted to the max. So Okay, no one cares about these settlements in trouble, man. I'm sorry. That's like that's your thing. None of us are interested. I'm gonna go. I don't I don't want a ghoul problem. I do want to buy some ammo though, so Yeah, yeah, that was my that was my doomsday device. I figured the first apocalypse didn't stick, so I'm I'm really trying to make the second one like really count, you know? Been to Diamond City in years. I'll tell you. Okay, you wanna see something funny? You wanna see something funny, man? Check this out. 
pretty great, right? Right? You like that, McCready? Yes. It's funny, right? How about this one? Huh? Yeah, it's good. I'm hilarious. Yes. No? Nothing? God, you are a hard to please individual. Yes. I thought that was funny. I guess I gotta wait till it's daytime. So these people wake up. Yes? Shut up, I wasn't talking to you, security guy. Let's just sit here for several. Oh, McCready likes stealing, not pickpocketing. Eh -eh. Okay, well, let's go into somebody's house and we'll steal some shit. Beautiful already. Shut up. Remember, swap. Yeah. You like that? No. I don't give a shit about any of this. This guy's house is weird. It's full of beer and baseballs. And that appears to be it. Heads up. What do you want? Nothing, man. Just your attention. Don't be shy. You're never too old to own a swatter. You're a man that looks like... You Genuine articles. You're a man that looks like he likes baseball shit. Can I introduce you in three baseball bats, a baseball grenade, and then like a lot of other random bullshit? Here, have some sports crap. Thanks. If you're thinking safety, a long-range rifle lets you stay in cover and out of sight. But you might want a secondary weapon for flexibility. Arturo, my bro, give me some ammo. Don't forget to stock up. That's what I'm here for. I want all your ammo, and I will trade you. I'll give you all this crap ammo I don't need. Those stealth boys. I am stealth boy. We got small arm, long arm, ammunition. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a well, they're good eyes. Got it? Alright. We can do business. Right. Let's see what you have. A bit of everything. Do you have any jet? Oh, you have fertilizer though. Fertilizer is like as good as jet. Hmm. Okay. Um, I should like, I guess, look up. Maybe if there's a, if there's a quest. Got gems right here. To help him like me more. Let's see what you got. Check it out. Thanks, nerd. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. Yeah, cure my fucking addiction, so I can go get addicted again. I've got an itch, Doc. 
Let's clean you up. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Yeah, your face. Yeah. What? There's no pipe around here. Where are you going? Okay. Um, what was I gonna do? I guess I'll go fast travel. Do they have a chemistry? Yeah, they do. Ooh, girl. Hey, I need you in the home room. Oh, more Pam quests? Okay. Things are quiet. Transmitting loads of information. At first glance, the atmosphere appears normal. But I'm going to dive deep into the day. I already lined up another place to stash one of my babies. If you got the time. Sure, man. I'll just do a million of these random side quests. <sighs> Creating content for games like this, um, they're tricky because you want to make content that feels like there's things going on, um, but it's hard because you want to um, you want to be able to get value out of it. And creating a bunch of like really unique independent quests is expensive, right? For a developer, it takes time and it's it's expensive as shit. Um, and so you end up in this position where you kind of have to fill in the space in the game with stuff like Ghoul Problem at Sanctuary Hill. Um, one thing that's nice though is like a game like this allows us to uh, it allows us to take these quests on our own pace, right? Like I'm 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 resting assured, I'm I'm sort of free in the knowledge that I can just stop and go on the main quest anytime I want, right? Which is really cool, um, but you know if you do them a bunch, they can feel very grindy and sort of repetitive. Um, so I guess as a designer, you you have to guide your players uh, to a place where they're doing these quests at the right pace for what you anticipated your game to be like, but also um, you know not over design it, not over like push them to doing things a specific way. That was awesome. I just nailed that thing's head off. Um, it's a difficult balance, uh, and I think that's part of the challenge of game design, right? Especially games like this, where you don't you don't control the player, but you can nudge and guide them in a particular direction. So can I have my gun, please? I just hear a lot of noise. It's like my least favorite bug in the whole game. Look. Can't shoot. Don't have a gun. There we go. Drink the water, shit.
Good shooting, buddy. Yeah, I mean, ideally, ideally, you have a game like this one with an unending supply of personally handcrafted relevant quests, right? With, like, custom content and non-procedurally generated, um, but that shit would be expensive as hell to make. And because of the way that games are marketed and sold, you can't sell a game really. Like, there are price points for games, and you can't really deviate from them. You can't say, um, you know, we... We made this game that's like 100 hours of totally unique content, like completely 100% unique content, and uh, we're going to sell it for 200 bucks. you know? Um, you can't do that. The, the only way that games get priced, really, like fundamentally, is what platform they're on, um, are they like a budget game, or are they a triple A title? Um, or are they like a collector's edition, right? Um, you know, we don't get to pick these these things about games for the most part. And as consumers, we certainly have no control over that. Like you can't really you can't really say like I would be happy to pay three hundred dollars for a game that I'm gonna play for two years. Um, and so what we end up with are games that, you know, cost 80 bucks, but should probably cost 30. Or we end up with games that cost 30 that give us the, the like, play value of a game that should be much more expensive. Yeah, and so, thank you, so Zom Zomg WTF Barbecue Cool uh, has, has pointed out that, yeah, like, sometimes we have the opportunity for these, like, kickstarted games, but, you know, a lot of that is preamble, like, you have to get that money before you can really develop the game. Um, alternate financial modes. Okay, so I shouldn't be in here. Alternate financial modes for games is something that I'm really interested in. Um, I like the idea of... Like, a game like Undertale felt undervalued. Like, I... I liked it enough. Um... Okay, I secured the cash. I liked it enough that I think it was worth way more than I paid for it. Right? I actually didn't grab any of the stuff, but the last cache was so bad. I don't know. Let's use the, um... Let's use the thing. Let's use the, um... The RFID. Is it a radio, or...? No? Yeah, random save, that's what I do too. Usually when I really like a game, um, I buy it for other people. I buy multiple copies. Um, I do that with tabletop games too. I own several copies of Apocalypse World that I, I bought several copies of Apocalypse World, of Burning Wheel, um, and given them away. There is some shit going on out here. Just indiscriminately shooting into these people. Blech. No, it's Sparta. Well, and the, the other thing, and I, I think Steven has, has 
talked about this a little bit, um, probably on his stream or, or you know, in sort of the the swan song preamble a few times, where the stuff that the stuff we're paying for is often weirdly shit that just tries to get more people to buy the game. Like, um, you know, a big part of the budget is advertising. And if you've bought a game, you're helping the company pay off the advertising they use to get you to buy the game? Which can be weird and frustrating. But it's not direct, right? But they spend so much money on that. The, the actual development of a game, uh, the budget isn't... Uh, it's not like a hundred percent, right? You'd think like, okay, they spent money to make a game and it costs however many million dollars and now the game is done. But Jack came in this way. But like voice acting is something that's like super expensive. So games that don't have it theoretically cost less, that kind of thing. But yeah, man, when people say, like, oh, it costs whatever to make this game, um, yeah, often the PR, like, all the various marketing and advertising and shit, costs more than the development of the game itself, which is just crazy. What is it? Um, or it's not. It's not crazy. It's just... It's not what people think of when they think about game budgets, I think. There's playing tricks on me. A super sledge. All right, I don't know where the cash is in this one, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on. Got you. I'm trying to run. Oh hell. Barely tagged him. Anyway, I think that um I think Fallout is doing a good job. Like, I could just have main quested this and gotten through it. Kind of like I did with um, The Witcher, right? You can tell that I like this game more because I'm prolonging my experience with it. Um, with The Witcher, I was like, okay, it's kind of... It's a pretty fun game, but I'm not super into it, and I want to complete it, but I don't want to do any really, like, side quest content. Because I wasn't... Oh my god, that's a pool. I wasn't that sold on it. Um... But with this, I'm, you know, I'm trying to experience more of the game by um, by taking on these side quests and exploring more of the of the setting space. And honestly, um, yeah, like yeah, like Alpha Mage saying in in chat, I kind of like DLC for role playing games, like. I wish that the core game was less expensive so that we could, you know, like if you can choose how much you want to engage and you get to do a little bit of this sort of demo play where you're like, okay, um, I like this game enough to buy two more things of DLC. But the problem with that is that, again, publishers get involved and they don't know how much to support a game. So that's hard. The, the, the games industry is a weird place right now and will continue to be weird for a little while, but we are starting to see more experimental approaches to the way games are sold, which in turn affect more experimental ways that games are being made, right? Which is important. Can you please just be dead? Thank you. I appreciate that. I love it when, whoa. Fiery laser weapon. 
Heads up. What's up? I have like about a million things for you to carry. Alright, what do we get at level 39? What do we get here? We get, um... Science 3, maybe? Is it time for more science? Yeah, let's take more science. It's an eagle point. I'm gonna be the greatest assassin. Alright. We're gonna teleport back to town. What's what's funny is, um, like, yeah, again, good good point, Alpha Mage. I was gonna say what's funny is how very different. Randolph safe house has got another. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, Stop giving me air fillers. Air um, air tabletop RPGs do shit in a very different way. Um, because with a tabletop RPG, it's you're expanding the, not the the play exactly. Um, you're expanding the potential of play, right? Um, video games are Look alive. much more an experience in and of themselves, whereas um, role-playing games like tabletop RPGs are a tool set for creating your own experience. So you're getting new tools. You're not getting new experiences necessarily, right? What is it? Um, so if I buy Stars Without Number, for example, and I like what I'm doing, but I want to expand the rules somehow. I want to try something different. The expansions for that game tend to expand the game outward as a, um... Tom and his boys are still unloading all the toys you found from the DIA. Yeah, fine. Um, you know, as a, as a form of, um... Uh, like, you can play different campaigns, I guess, is the thing, right? You can be... do the naval thing, or do the merchant thing, or whatever. It's like, here's the core experience, we're gonna build on top of that. Whereas with video games, it doesn't tend to be that way. Um, so it's, yeah, I don't know. They're very different, and so the way that they get sold is different, and the way that we buy them is different, and... You know. But there's problems with that too, right? With the way that they, they get sold. Like, look at the entire sort of D20 era and all of the garbage that came out trying to expand on what, um, you know, the D20 SRD could do. When I approach his probability bounds. The runner should be able to get the cash now. Reward dispensed. Ooh, what'd I get? What did I get? Just money? Alright. The world's a dangerous place for anyone in my way. Hey there. Hey, you placed another one of my babies. Bring in that yummy data. You got the time? I got another site we could place another one of my babies. Stop talking about your babies. What if you're here to check out the latest and greatest? That's good. Anything new from Mila? Him's like a glowing one in a crater, soaking up all the data from Mila's cameras. The atmospheric sensors haven't picked up anything yet, but give it time. I gotta go. Right you up. Okay, Tom. So yeah, these are definitely just like busy work quests. I feel like they've got a, like a, a sort of terminus to them. Maybe, because they have numbers. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we get to the the third one of these. We don't have time to do one more. Let's go check it out. I guess I can just teleport. I mean, fast travel.
Yeah, and then we'll take a break and do um, we'll do main quest after the next break. Carry on with uh, the rest of the game. Find Agent Blackbird. Oh, you know, it'd be really fun. It'd be really fun to play a game of this and do a Mr. Sicarian playthrough. So you, like, um. You get your power armor, and you, uh, you just go around killing anyone that has anything to do with drugs. Like, just just totally serious like plasma weapons drug destruction like yeah that awesome <laughs> that'd be really funny maybe if there's an expansion I'll do a uh, I'll do a Mr. S playthrough and we'll do we'll do the anti-jet I'll just go around killing all the drug dealers as soon as someone even mentions the word jet we just blast them Yeah, I feel like Mjolnir would have to be, like, some kind of heavy plasma weapon. There's no thunder gun in the game, so... Blackbird. Blackbird down. Yeah, yeah, and if you're not wearing the power armor, you can only use um, melee weapons. Cool. <laughs> There you are. Going here. Oh, I got. It. I found the note. Let's see what that says. Blackbird's note, I think. Blackbird spotted. Badly injured. Way too many hostiles for the runner to engage. Request assistance from HQ. Okay. Hey, 
Yikes. Okay, so I did I did that one. Let's do the Randolph safe house. interesting because I, I, um, I don't care about the... I, I really, really don't care about the game's um, main quest insofar as I don't care about what happens. I don't care about my missing kid. I don't care about any of that shit. I'm way more interested in the stuff that's emerged during play. Like, I really like, um, I like the romance stuff that I was doing with, um, Kate, like I thought that was really fun and like really drove gameplay for me. Um, and I like uncovering bits of lore uh, about the universe a lot. I like, I'm actually really enjoying the mechanical stuff. I'm enjoying leveling up, getting different perks and doing like weapon crafting. Um, but the main quest is kind of just like a background thing. And actually, to be totally honest, that's how Skyrim was for me too. Like I didn't give, I didn't give really a shit about Whatever the fuck Skyrim was about, I, I don't know. It was about me being a weird dark elf. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Is that a boat? Holy crap. What in the fuck? Is that got a rocket engine on the- Jesus Christ! Magnificent boat! Oh, hi. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. That's me. Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army, is delivered to us in our hour of need. Are you a pirate? What? Why are you talking like that? Uh, like what, sir? The captain requests your presence <laughs> on the bridge. Not the double quick, sir. Yar! Well, fuck, I'd get out of here with your your Randolph safe house. Yeah, it is a boat. I plan to explore it. All right, let's um yeah, let's let's do this boat thing. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break first and then we'll come back and we'll Yeah. It's a boat. <laughs> Rad. I'm excited. Stick around. <laughs> 